guys welcome to the video i hope you all are well and happy new year guys I hope you guys are good man okay guys this build video is for the necromancer class for patch 2610 season 22 it's a season 22 only build guys and this is the gr speed bone spear build it's an updated build basically from the previous one i did a while ago and this one has more mobility guys more dps more everything man it's absolutely insane even with a set with zero orcs guys and just baseline gems say 80 to 100 you can do like 110 speeds in the straight away, which is insane. <laughs> so you can be self-sufficient for power guarding, your, even your gem ups, things like that, man. So you can do your own augments, things like that. And with a slight tweak, you can even do even higher than that. All you gotta do is just change your uh, your boots here to Dainty's Binding for more tank, and you can do really deeper rifts as well on top. I can right now, as, a, as an old witch, uh, sorry, old uh, Necromancer, I can actually do 129s by myself now, now semi-speed to do the bigger uh, upgrade, so I can warp this gear. It's mad, guys. It's really, really good. So, yeah, guys. Here we go, then, man. Let's go for it. Nice. Okay, guys. He uses the new Necromaster set. Masquerade of the Burning Carnival. Now, those that used to play Witch Dots, guys, or still play Witch Dots, if you liked Carnival, the blow dart build, with all the pets shooting the blow darts, this build is exactly the same thing. But it's much tankier, and it's got way more damage. <laughs> so, pretty much, guys, as soon as you cast a Bone Spear, so does the other two pets here. They will pierce all the targets, and the damage they do is absolutely insane. It's so much fun, man. It's really, really good. So yeah, it's a pet spear build, man. It's good. So yeah, guys, new set there, basically. So it's uh, two set bonus on Rackrams, uh, which is basically these two pets here. Uh, no longer take damage. Gain all runes, and it's cooldown and refresh when you die. So if you do die, guys, this is back up and running straight away, okay? Do you want to keep this buff up all the time? Because basically, it summons these pets and doubles your essence pool. The more essence you have in your build, the more DPS you're going to do. So, absolutely Rex, It's great. Four set bonus. While you have a Semrakram, damage is reduced by 50%. And damage you take is split with your Semrakrams as well. So, it's an enormously tanky build, man. So, if you're new to Diablo or you just got a weak character currently, you know, you're going to be really tanky in this as well, which is great. And then the guy's six piece bonus. Bone Spear deals 10,000 increased damage, and Simulacrums, your pets, gain triple this bonus. And that's why this build is so strong. That with the new Bracer, guys, it's, it just wrecks and it's so much fun, man. It's so much fun, I love it. Nice, okay, guys, so uh, rest of the gear then. So basically, we're using the boats, uh, chest, helm, shoulders, and gloves. Put a diamond in the helm for CDR, cooldown reduction. And then uh, topaz in your chest and legs. If you need more armor, so say you're dying somehow, you can always opt out for rubies instead of topaz, which will raise your armor value on your suit. Okay, so if you're, if you're struggling with toughness, just put rubies or emeralds in your chest and legs instead of topazes. But once you're all guys, just go full DPS with topaz, in my opinion. Nice. Okay, then, guys. So, uh, yeah, let's go for it, mate. So, so uh, main hand guys, you of course want Cypher the Cycle. Now, this buffs all your secondary damage, i.e., Bone Spear. Okay, so you got this. Uh, Hopefully, guys, as much secondary damage as possible. Goes up to 400%. Make sure you've got Essence on your main hand and off hand as well. As well as your Paragon as well here. Because the more Essence points you have, the more DPS you do in this build. It's very, very important. Nice. Always use an Emerald, guys, in the weapon as well for CHD. Critical hit damage. Nice. On off hand, guys, you preferably want to use Lost Time. Now, Lost Time will basically give you movement speed based on your Cold Spear skills. Now, because of Crystal of Spear here, guys... Our rune of choice is a cold spell. It will give us a big movement speed buff. Now, this is all about speed farming. So you can use any offhand you want, but you really want lost time. Can be a bit finicky, though, to roll this thing correctly. Thankfully, I've got quite a good one straight away. So I was lucky this time. Man. It's actually really good, actually. It's pretty sweet. But yeah, you can use anything, but this would be best in slot. First ring, guys, of course, is Convention of Elements. Okay, so as soon as you hit your cold rotation, that is your biggest damage spike. Okay, so basically, as soon as you hit cold rotation on Leap Pack or Rift Guardian, you hit Bone Armor Dislocation, bang, it will stun it. You'll proc your Chrisman's Ring in the cube, and during a cold rotation, that's when you kill the Rift Guardian, okay? And uh, it'll just melt, <laughs> melt super quick. First gen, guys, you can use is Zeer Stone of Vengeance, which does more damage the further you are away from your target, and also does a 20% chance to stun, which helps proc your Chrisman's Sentence Ring, which is in the cube as well. Brilliant. Second ring, guys, is Ring of Royal Grandeur. This makes you achieve six-piece bonus with your... Uh, your Burning Carnival set here, and of course, free set bonus here for Caps and Crimsons. Next gen, guys, we're going to use, of course, is Bane of the Trap for the massive damage bonus. Last jewelry item, guys, of course, is Haunted Visions, which is key to the builds. So, Blackroom now drains 1% of your maximum life every second. Don't worry about that. But the most importantly, guys, it makes this skill here last forever. As you can see here, my essence is now 660, and it's just staying there. So, it belongs using this amulet, so Blackroom will never ever run out. 
which is just great. <laughs> and last gem, guys, you want to use is Bane of the Powerful. Gain 20% increased damage for X amount of seconds after killing an elite pack. And then gain an extra 15% increased damage versus elites and take 50% reduced damage for elites. Okay? Now, this is the, the best gem in slot, in my opinion. But you can, if you want to, use a Gogoka Swiftlish, which works really, really well, which gives you uh, dodge, attack speed, and cooldown reduction, which helps give you more damage from your Captain Crimson as well on top, man. So you can use this, but for best DPS, I would suggest using the Powerful overall, though. But if you're a bit new and you find that you're dying a little bit, sort of thing, Gogok would be really nice because you should, like I said, gives you that nice dodge. Or you could use another chank gem instead, like this one here, like SO gem or something like that. It's up to you, man, but I do recommend powerful. Just get powerful up to about level 60. That's more than enough. And off you go, baby. Oops. Right, guys, other parts of the gear there, man. So uh, we're using Captain Crimson's, okay? So you get this uh, craftable set from doing bounty mats, okay? If you don't have this set, just keep doing Act 1 bounties over and over and over and then. And when you pop that cage, eventually the plan will drop out. It took me a few runs to get it, but I got it eventually. And then just go over to your blacksmith table, guys, over here, and just craft it, basically. Just craft it, and uh, hopefully you get it, okay? Hopefully you get it. Hopefully you get a good roll. Or pull the best rolls, guys, of gear. Description of the video, as usual. Nice. Okay, guys, so we're using Captain Crimson's belt and legs, and we're getting three piece bonus because of the raw ring here as well, man. So, what does this do? Uh, two set bonus regenerates you 6,000 life per second. Brilliant. Uh, reduces cooldown of all skills by 20%. Fantastic. And also resource cost reduction as well. But here's the kicker, man. A three set bonus. Damage dealt is increased by your percentage of cooldown reduction. So, the higher your cooldown, the more damage you can do for Captain Crimson's, okay? That's why we're using a diamond in the helm. Okay, we're stacking some CDR on our gear, etc. etc. And also, guys, the higher resource cost reduction you have on your suit, the more damage you take less as well on top, which is great. Okay? But just that cooldown is what you would mainly want though. And it just this just gives you so much DPS. It's just just fantastic. <laughs> it's really, really good. Okay, guys, super key to the build course is this new bracer. Glindamore's marrow guards, okay? I'm just using the non HM1 here right now. And what this does is bone spears cast some sacrums, deal an extra up to 400%. And this is why this uh, the set right now in the game is so OP. Because it just wrecks that bracer bonus, guys, and set bonus. It just absolutely smashes. <laughs> absolutely smashes, man. Okay, guys, in Canine's Cube, we have a matter of his petrified spike. Bone spear now costs 40 essence and deals 700% increased damage, okay? So basically, big, big damage buff to your spears. Don't worry about the uh, extra exodus cost because we've got things in the skills that reduce it. Okay, guys, key to the build to make this fast. Now, on the old version of this build, I was using Nemesis Braces, which is nice. But basically, I put Stuart's Greaves in there, basically, because you gain 100% increased movement speed for 10 seconds of casting Blood Rush. You just cast this and... Look how much movement speed we have, and now you can just zip around and get to targets much, much quicker, man. So it's, it's a staple for most speed farming builds, so yeah, it's great. Like I said earlier, guys, you know, if you want to make this really tanky, and you don't really care about the speed that much, so you're doing higher jump ups, just simply switch this over to Dainty's Binding. And when you auto curse stuff from this here for Oil of Frailty, which is an Aura of uh, Curse, you know, proc this, you take an extra 50 percent damage reduction, which is great. The next item, guys, of course, is Crispin Sentence. You deal 100% increased damage against slowed enemies, or triples bonus against enemies afflicted by any other control parent effect, okay? So we're going to get a snare straight away anyway, because crystals, the Bone Spear Crystallization is a cold spell. And it's going to snare them straight away anyway. Also, it pops your bane the trapped. And uh, then we've got a stun from Zia's Stun of Vengeance and a four stun from Bone Armor Dislocation. So that's how you get all your procs from Crispins, make it go, damage go through the roof. So it's very, very easy, man. And plus we've got a passive as well that does a root as well, which is good. Okay, guys, last one these guys, is Renaina's Shadow Hook, okay? Now, this is super important, man, to generate tons of DPS on your suit. Every point of maximum essence increases your damage by 0 0.5, okay? Doesn't sound much, but this is huge, absolutely huge, man. So just make sure you've got essence secondary on your weapon offhand and your Paragon. Make sure you put it into your Paragon, man, because this will generate tons of damage on your character and you'll just shred through the rift guys so so quickly that's super super quick so uh let's go through the skills then guys so bone spear crystallization each enemy hit has their attack speed reduced by 20 percent so it keeps you alive and your attack speed is increased by three percent for three seconds stacking up to 10 times you get massive speed buff this okay and you just chuck out spears like you see in this footage above us now super super quick and it just shreds it's great you can actually use anything you want if you want to take more damage you can use like blighted marrow or even teeth man or shatter but 
I found for general speeds, crystallization was just just the sweet spot for me personally, man. Because uh, that you can just chuck out those spears so quickly, man. So so, so quickly. It's proccing trapped at range as well. You can one shot most stuff straight away, so it's great. Bone armor dislocation, guys. You must keep bone armor up all the time. If bone armor ever drops, then your cycle cycle damage bonus will not be working. So make sure you always see the stacks here on your bone armor. It's very very important. Does a stun for Crispy guys. Pop the stun for the Rift Guardian or Elite Tanks. Frailty or a frailty, guys. Okay, so uh, basically kills monsters under fifteen percent health. But also we get access to two other curses on top, which is great. Now because of the set bonus. Uh, gains all runes. So my will now gain all runes, yeah? So we go over here and get Curse Form. While active, your Curse skills now apply all three baseline curses. Okay, so uh, you want to be cursed every. So you're going to get Decrepify, Leech, and of course Frailty all on one target since you just walk into them. So you're going to be constantly healing as you're attacking that target, and you're going to debuff their damage by 30% as well. And they'll die as well at 50% health or less. So make sure you're cursing everything as well, man. And you'll just shred them screw it. So cool, man. Similac Rune Reservoir, guys. Now, like I said, oh, you get actually, you actually get access to all these runes, man. So this one here gives you the double dudes. Uh, Reservoir doubles your essence pool. Okay, and that's, that's why I was talking about essence points, because this makes it so you double your essence pool. And because we've got, right now, I've got 660 essence points, which is near the top. And that just generates so much damage because of the shadow hook in the cube. It's absolutely brilliant, man. So nice. Doesn't matter what rune you got selected, guys, because you get all of them, okay? But just make sure, as soon as you start your run, you pop this shirt away, okay? Nice. Okay, guys, Blood Rush Molten. Now, you don't have to use Molten, but if you're new to the build, use this first. Now, Blood Rush is basically your teleport as well. Molten basically gives you a body on the floor, okay? You can see they've got a little body there. Now, I put this into the build for a new player in mind. Say you get to the Rift Guard and you blow your power off your cold rotation, then you can have a way of generating power back, okay? And just go bang, bang. And you can see now we're getting some recharge now. Okay, so we can still, still DPS the Rift Guardian. Once you use the rotation, you're killing the Rift Guardian on the first, pretty much your first cold rotation. Just switch it over to Metabolism for the double teleport instead. This one will not generate corpses on the floor, okay? But it lets you do the runs much, much quicker, okay? But as a D player, just use multi man to get used to the actual rotation of the build. Devour Voracious, guys, okay? Consume corpses within 60 yards, okay? 60 yards is huge. <laughs> it's absolutely massive, man. So you get a massive, massive consume circle range of character and restores 10 essence per corpse. Reduces all essence costs by 2% for each corpse consumed within 5 seconds, okay? So on this build, you want to be killing constantly, okay? You want to be killing constantly. Uh, preferably, guys, if you can, um, do the numlock trick for Devour, so just auto-cast it like this, okay? So, uh, yeah, Unibi, you just be cast, move, cast, move, cast, move. Okay? Always push forward to the enemies. Then there'll be loads of bodies around you and all that, and your, your essence bar will be shooting through the roof, okay? You just keep doing that, and you get loads of cost reduction, and that way you can just keep casting these spills for a lot less essence as well, which is great. So, just cast, move, cast, move, cast, move. You're going to be killing super, super fast. You need might need to adjust your, rift, uh, your greater rift that you're doing to the power of your character. So, if you can't do GR 110 straight away, Drop it 5 levels, 10 levels, whatever, until you find roughly where you're under 2 shot in pretty much all the trash on the screen. Then as your character gains in power, orgs, and all that sort of stuff, and core jump ups on your rings and stuff, then you can start raising the rift level up and up and up, okay? Nice. Okay guys, so uh, for passive spam, you want to use uh, standalone for the armor buff, bone prison, bone spear, has a 30% chance to trap enemies in a bone prison for 3 seconds, okay? So this will help proc your Chrisman's ring, and also stop all those nasty elites rushing into you as well, so... You'll see it, you'll see a big bone prison, grab the uh, elite pack or target, and you'll, you'll just kill it even quicker. Key to build guys, of course, is overweight in essence, increase your maximum essence by 40 points, and this will make sure Shadow Hook do even more damage. And you just smash your thing to the floor, it's great. The last one of these guys, of course, is Dark Reaping. While using a Scythe, gain 2% essence, and life per kill, so you're healing constantly as you're killing targets and always gaining essence as well. For the follower guys, I'm using Enchanted Favor, of course Thunder Fury Man for uh, the big AoE uh, Lightning Blast which procs Wildwood Ring for stun, Oculus Ring for the poor power, I use Johan on this particular setup as well, so it gets auto grouping as well, which is good. And of course, freeze of the flexion. This is just my standard setup for most of my Templar builds. Then I'm just using all left line guys, all left line heal, Regen, Stunning Charge, and Inspire. Inspire, guys, makes you generate an extra 10% extra essence as well, which is great. So, as you're generating corpses on the floor, and, well, and getting any essence generation you're getting, 
is you're going to get an extra 10% there. It's going to just make your run a little bit easier. But if you need an extra heal, then pop on Guardian. But to be honest, the build is so tanky, you should be fine anywhere. You should be fine anywhere. So yeah, guys, once again, rotation super super easy, man. As soon as you start a GR, first thing you want to do is pop Simulacrum, okay? This will double your essence pool. Your pets will summon. And then uh, just teleport into your first set of enemies. You hit Bone Armor Dislocation. And then you just cast move, cast move, cast move, cast move. Pick up all the corpses. And bang, all your powers are going to come back super easy. On the Rift Guardian fight, guys, you want a DPS on your cold rotation, like I said earlier. Okay, so this rotation here. Now, preferably, you want to do a stun. Okay, you want to do a stun. Okay, so say uh, this guy here is a, is a Rift Guardian right now, yeah? So you'd be like, oh, okay, just generate a few corpses and stun, teleport back, and boom, 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 on your cold rotation. Now, if the Rift Guard is not dead after that, just wait again. Keep teleporting around. Okay, keep teleporting, man. Generate some extra corpses. Consume those up. Cold rotation. Bang, bang, bang. And dead and pick up your loot. And that's it. It's as easy as that. It's like the simplest build. <laughs> and there you go, guys. Enjoy Bone Spear Speeds. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Feel free to like and subscribe and comment this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Enjoy, man. Just check the description of the video, guys, for the stat guide for this particular build, man. Take care. Have fun in Sanctuary. Hey! <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.